Like midway through Sun and Fun 2021, it's been a long road to get here. Yeah. It's been an awful year for aviation, but you're out here with bright, shiny new airplanes. Can't all be bad. No, it's not bad. It's uh, um, just to get out amongst everybody and get about. In fact, it's uh, the pent up demand is apparent here because we've had at least five or six very qualified people coming through looking at our aircraft. And so it's been an exciting Sun and Fun so far. Our two aircraft here are fully certified. We certified the aircraft in 2019 in November, and uh, we made the big announcements. We started getting out amongst everybody in January, and then COVID started coming on board. And then uh, February and April, it was kind of you know a little bit still going on. All of a sudden, March, we were all shut down. Yeah. We continued on with information out there to everybody, kept our customers informed of what's going on. In the meantime, we uh, stepped back a little bit and said, okay, so the manufacturing floor is up and running, but let's do some streamlining, see so what we can do to improve it. So management went in and why everybody was laid off for a short time, we went through and totally uh, kind of cleaned things up. We uh, actually brought some time off of building the aircraft by doing that. We started bringing people back on board in summer. We're back up to almost 280 people now back building airplanes. We're realistically we're up to one a month uh, in uh, delivery process. During that time, we also changed to the GX model, which is adding the uh, GFC 700 autopilot and a five-blade Hartzell composite propeller. So right now, our pilots back home are doing a fly-off on that, get the final approvals, and uh, we'll start uh, delivering the first GXs in uh, June, and we'll have about three or four of them ready to go right at that time. Wonderful. So how many are out in the wild now? We have delivered eight E-1000s, and then uh, we've got reservations for 30 more aircraft, Several of those reservations have pushed out to 2022 because of COVID and various things. We're delivering now to those early folks and getting airplanes to them. What do you foresee for the next few years for all things EPIC? Right now we're seriously looking at getting it ramped up to 50 aircraft a year for a month. And as every new model comes out, and we'll be looking at different things to do with this aircraft. You, know, you look at other manufacturers over the years, one type certificate has uh, held true for the same airframe for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And so they just keep adding on different air, different uh, versions of the aircraft, but using the, the same type of certificate. We got a, a large room to move in this aircraft. There's many things that we're looking at doing to, to make it to the next step. But to right now, we're you know just delivering one of the best airplanes out there. You have the reliability of the turbine. You have the performance of a very high end, you know, most of the small jets actually. Yep. This aircraft has a ceiling of 34,000 feet. It's one of the few turboprops out there that do. With the 1,200 horsepower engine on the front of that, our time to climb gets us up there quickly. We're up in the flight levels really fast. With the RVSM approval, our guys are flying up there all day long at uh, 315 knots, burning 48 gallons an hour. So just a phenomenal airplane. So you have that type of performance, but you have it with the efficiencies of a turboprop. And this is what people aspire to. So it's going to be one of those airplanes that's going to be popular, popular now and forever, I think. And I have to ask this, current pricing, how much? That's $3.85 million. So we're still substantially less than our closest competition. And if you go on to the same type of performance level, we're still substantially less. Are you looking at all at some of the Autoland capabilities that have become so popular of late? That'll come along. I mean, this current autopilot functions we're offering now is the auto level and the automatic descent and depressurization and those things. And then Autoland is just a natural next step. Final question. When do I fly? Uh, as soon as we get one to you. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Thanks, Kai. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. I remember developing A20 and thinking, is this as good as it can be? Can I make it better? That drives a desire to truly make innovations and capabilities that people haven't even thought of and really look for something that's new, different, and better. You can't have the mindset that it's impossible to make it better. If you're already at that mindset, you might as well go home.